this is Ling Chi, brush painting for beginners. Today's session, we're going to talk, we're going to demonstrate some simple landscape. And mostly our emphasis is how do you use a semi-sized paper? Um, it's a lead off to our next Friday's virtual office hours. So please contact us if you don't know how to qualify that. And then the next Friday, we will do five different kind of semi-sized paper, talk about the character of each paper. Today, I'm using one of the paper called Water Dragon, which is semi-sized mulberry paper. And I have done three, because you have to, the layers that sometimes you have to leave it dry first. So I did three different um, samples. The first one I did um, um, the subject and then I did the wash. So this one is finished. And then the second one is I did the subject without the wash. The third ones that I'm I did the um, wash then I will add on the subject later on so um, so the first thing I would do is I would do the subject and um, talk a little bit how why we are doing on the semi size paper and a lot of times when you see a landscape done that kind of blotchy color doesn't blend together that means they are using unsized shrimp paper when you use unsized shrimp paper they don't spread they don't blend it together and uh, um and i taught um a student that uh, a couple of years ago he is a great tattoo artist and does beautiful um, human drawings, like especially ladies. So he has attending um, a Japanese art show, and then he was struggling over and over again with his subject. So he came and there was nothing I can teach him about how to draw because he does a good job, a beautiful job. So we find out what he did is he didn't know the right paper to use for his particular art. So it's very important to understand your paper and to know what you want to do. So the first subject, uh, first thing I'm going to demo for you is that this is a slicing on it. So, so like I'm going to spray the paper if Evan can show the So the paper itself, they they kind of spread it on its own. Doesn't go directly underneath. So then I'm using the wetness of the paper to um to do my subjects. So So this paper probably have about, I would say, about 30% sizing. So I'm playing with water. So then I use, um, a fine pay, uh, a brush called uh, Happy Dog, or you can use any detail brush you have. Then I start using lines 
to kind of finish to help me more define on what I want to do. You can see I'm playing with the water. So that's my main land. And then on here, I'm doing a secondary land. Which this is my host and this is my guest. soften or make some different texture to want it to and then on the further land I'm using lighter ink little green I had here so this is So this part is pretty dry. And then I use some spray to make it. Softer. So this is I finished my subject. So I'm going to let it dry and then I would do the washes on the top. And on here, this, I did the wash this morning. So I can also re-wet a little bit. So on this side, and then, so this is a different technique. So I'm, because it's a little bit further out, so my ink is a little bit lighter. So then I soften it. Spray. So I'm doing a little boat. So now I'm using this companion set. It's blue.
So I use some light ink underneath as a reflection. Then I have an antenna goes up. So this is the reflection of the antenna. All right, and then I'm going to do a little bit horizontal line. So it's further out, so it's lighter. And then I'm going to use some blues. So like this part, I didn't like the richness. So I'm going to... So it's not such a straight line. Okay, so this one is, I did the wash first. And then uh, I did the subject later on. So the next one, I'm going to show you how to do the wash. So I wet the whole paper. And so the elements that are on the page, you did them earlier and now they're completely they dry. dry. Now I'm wetting them again. But you can see when it's completely dry, it doesn't move anymore. So this part, I'm going to do a kind of red purple. So I have some purple here, and then I have some red here. like a sunset color. So I'm loading the wash brush about, this is a small one, this is a two inch wash brush. So um, because what I'm doing is a very small area, 
but if you have a bigger painting you want to do I would choose minimum three inch or four and a half so then I this is the tip where the color is so then I soften it up and then I started doing the other side So I smooth it out. Okay. And then this part, I'm going to add some red to it because it's the sunset. So make sure you don't have like a square area. So everything is kind of in and out, soft, leave some spaces. Then I will add a little bit yellow to show the sunset. So this part also some yellow to it and some red. So suggestion, the, um, the sun is right here. You don't have to cover the whole thing. So then now I'm using some blues. So you can see that I have some white areas. So I don't cover everything. So then I finished this piece. One more time. This one, we were doing it with the um, subject first after it dry, and then we do the washes. And this subject first, and then we do the washes after it's dry. And this one, we did the wash first, and then we do the subject later on. So either way, you can try it.
so I can soften this area. So if you want to know more about how to paint on uh, semi-size <coughs> paper, <coughs> join us <coughs> next Friday on our virtual office hour. We will work on and talk about each of the five semi-size paper and then the character of each paper. Okay, I'm done. Hope to see you next week.